Hey Vitas, welcome back to La Vida Alvita. Today I'm going to show you guys another cooking tutorial and I'm going to show you guys how to make a very healthy, very delicious guacamole recipe. This is perfect for a Cinco de Mayo party, whether you're hosting it or whether you're attending it. It's really good to bring, it's really good to have, it's really good to eat. Trust me, I was someone who did not like guacamole growing up, but once I figured out how to make it in this way, I loved it. And everyone who I've ever made it for has absolutely loved it as well. It's super easy to make, it's incredibly easy to find all the ingredients, and it's just a really good item to either have or to bring for any occasion. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make it, and I'm gonna show you guys what you need, so let's get started. Okay, Vitas, so here's what you're gonna need. First and foremost, you need avocados. Avocados are the main ingredient to this dish, of course. So the way to test to make sure you have a perfect ripe avocado for this recipe is to make sure that when you feel the avocado, it has a little bit of squishiness to it. You don't want it to be incredibly firm, and you want the skin of it to be more brown than it is green. So make sure you test for that. And get about four to five avocados just so that you have enough for a good amount of people. This is probably gonna to serve to about 10 to 15 or even 20 people. So four to five avocados. I'm working with five today. So that is what you're gonna need as far as avocados are concerned. Also, you want cilantro. Like in my previous tutorial for the pico de gallo, you want about the same amount, either a handful of cilantro or one pack of cilantro, depending on how your supermarket or grocery store sells it. Also, you're going to want cumin. Cumin is a really good, delicious herb. It has a very earthy taste and smell to it. I love it, I use it a lot. And this is what's going to give your guac that extra flavor that many guacs don't have. You also can have the option of, of garlic. Oh, I couldn't figure out the word. You can either get a, clo a clove of garlic or you can do what I do and get it already minced. Because what you're gonna do with the garlic Clove is minced up till it's really tiny. So might as well skip that hard work and just get garlic that's already minced. Also, you're going to need a red onion like I showed you guys in our last tutorial. We're not gonna use the whole onion, we're only gonna use about a quarter of the onion. So make sure you get a red onion, one is sufficient. Like I said, we're only using a quarter of it and we're mincing this down to really, really small pieces too. And last but not least, of course, lime juice. Like in my previous tutorial, again, there's a lot of the same ingredients, so if you buy one, you're set to go for the other one, you just get a couple of other things. Lime juice. Again, you can opt to get regular limes and squeeze the juice out if you want, or make your life a little bit easier, like I'm trying to show you guys here, and just buy 100% lime juice. So, that's really all you need. Of course, make sure you have a bowl to mix everything in. Have your cutting board to cut everything and have a knife to cut everything. You're also gonna need a mixing spoon down the line, but everyone should have one of those. So, it's really easy. That's really all you need. So, let's get this started. So the first step is taking your avocados and cutting them down. So, take your knife and split the avocado in half following the seed on the inside. Then separate the two halves, revealing the seed on the inside of the avocado as so. Then take your knife, stab the seed, and remove the seed from the inside of the avocado. Take your half of the avocado, turn it over, and cut it in half. You're also going to do this to the other side as well. Once you do that, the avocado should be a lot easier to peel from its shell, as you see. Repeat the same process for the remaining avocados you have to create your guacamole. Our next step is the red onion. So you're gonna take about a quarter out of the red onion as you see me doing here. Your next step is going to be to cut off each side to allow for better mincing. So once that's done, remove all the excess pieces and then peel the skin off the top layer of the onion as you see me doing. Once you do that, take your knife and just cut 
little by little by little as you see me doing here and you're going to create a checkered effect so you're gonna go straight one way and then the other way you're gonna chop it down till you get little tiny squares of red onions this is also gonna be the part where your eyes are probably going to start to burn and tear up as mine were doing here Now we're going to take the cilantro and start removing all the big stems that you see, separating the leaves off the stems. Once that's done, bundle up your cilantro and then start to finely chop down your cilantro till it's very nice and finely chopped. Now that all of that is done, take your bowl that has the avocados, cilantro, and red onions and add about a teaspoon of minced garlic. If you have it already bought minced like I do, just take the teaspoon like I said. If not, take about a clove of garlic, chop it down finely, and add it into your bowl. Now we're gonna add some cumin into the mixture. Add about a teaspoon, but if you really like cumin the way I do, I add about a lid full to my mixture, just cause I really like it, I like the way it tastes. Next is our lime juice. Add about a full lime if you're using an actual lime. If you're using a juice lime, like the small one that I have here, add about half the bottle. So if you have a different bottle size, depending what type you want, you kind of want to make it about two limes or if not a whole lime. So try to measure it out based off that. Now is the exciting part and the messy part. You're gonna take a fork or anything you can mush with and mush and mix everything together till you get your perfect guacamole texture. So there you go, Vitas. Everything is all said and done once your hands have been hurting from mushing all the guac and all the ingredients together. I would recommend leaving it overnight and make sure it's refrigerated because it is very fragile. It will start to brown if you do leave it out for a long period of time. So there you are. I hope you guys enjoy and I hope to see you back for some more.